Passengers being told, basically, just don't, just avoid the railways. Um, whether or not unions call off strikes at the 11th hour, you're just not going to be able to travel anywhere. What a mess. It is a mess. Um, I, I find the behaviour of the rail unions absolutely extraordinary. Uh, they're very well paid train drivers, um, somewhere between 59 plus mm. thousand uh, a year, which is a good salary. Uh, people are just not going to use the trains. It's going to force more people to work from home, which I don't think is necessarily a good thing. It's going to create misery for a lot of people who uh, go and see family, uh, which they sometimes only re- once or twice a year yeah. go and see their family. And there hasn't been enough of that in the last couple of years. Exactly. So I think their behaviour is appalling. And uh, the whole thing about these strikes, Beverly, I, that no one seems to have linked up with, who are the biggest funders of the Labour Party? The unions. The unions. They, they are, and you know, I was involved in raising money for the Conservative Party, as you know. Who are the biggest funders of the Labour Party? Is the unions. And this orchestration of uh, strikes that is happening at this particular time and uh, a renaissance, if you like, of the Labour Party because of the self-inflicted wounds the Conservative Party have had mm. is uh, a, a, something that people have, that the Conservative Party should associate and link uh, to educate mm. the voters. So I, I think it's really bad. Obviously, there are a number of people who rightly are striking because they're badly paid and, and have had you know, to work through incredibly tough times. But I, I'm afraid, uh, I, I don't think there's a lot of sympathy so for if, the rail unions. 